A patient today asked about Prozac or fluoxetine, one of the SSRIs or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Um, these medications basically make serotonin more available in the brain by decreasing that chemical's ability to move from the neuron that it's excreted from um, and into the synaptic cleft between neurons. It, they prevent them from moving back into that same neuron that they came out of. So there's more available between neurons. There's more available to move forward, if you will, into a different neuron, for example. Um, Prozac has been out for decades. It's one of the first, I believe it's actually the first SSRI to be used um, or FDA approved in the United States. Selexa was the first in Europe. This was the first SSRI to be used in the United States. And because it's been around for so long and studied so long, it's actually, in general, if someone's gonna be on an antidepressant um, during pregnancy, this is one of your most studied medications. And so Prozac, which is fluoxetine again, or Zoloft, which is certainly intended to be the, some of the medications that a provider would uh, switch a patient to or have a patient continue. Prozac has a very long half-life. And what that means is that it has one of the least risks for withdrawal of any of your SSRIs or antidepressants. What it also means is it takes longer to get to a steady state or a steady blood level in your system, which means that it's gonna take longer to get to a full effect. So with your SSRIs, I typically tell patients that after four weeks or so, you're probably at about 80% of the effect of the medication in terms of it working for your anxiety or for your depression. But with Prozac, especially with having such a long half-life, you may take six or eight weeks or longer to get to a full effect of this medication. And so that's why it's really important to take it every day, take it consistently, and as long as you're not having any problematic side effects to continue with it, um, even if you feel like it hasn't it hasn't kicked in yet after about a month, because it you may start to get symptom relief pretty soon after that if you stick with it. Medication is indicated for a lot of different conditions, so it's FDA approved for major depressive disorder. Um, it's it's often used in panic disorder, um, generalized anxiety disorder, phobias. Um, it's it's actually um, used in cataplexy. So some individuals when they feel very strong emotions, they might just go limp and might actually fall over or feel really weak at the knees and, and, and uh, have kind of a real strong emotional response. It can, it can actually calm down and prevent those symptoms as well. SSRIs like Prozac or fluoxetine are often used in OCD and in bulimia as well. For OCD and for bulimia, the doses that are used tend to be significantly higher. So maybe 40, 50% higher than what the medication is used, what the doses the medication is used at um, for major depressive disorder or generalized anxiety disorder or panic disorder, for example. Um, there certainly are some side effects that individuals need to know about before starting this medication. Most of these side effects are transient, so they'll go away after a few days or after a few weeks of being on the medication. So I tell patients, you know, hey, if you start to notice that you're having some nausea, you feel a little bit dizzy, you feel like your head is a little bit foggy, um, you, see, you feel some muscle aches or pains, have a little bit of an upset stomach, I'd recommend that maybe you take it at night and then you'll sleep through those symptoms or sleep through the uh, worst of those symptoms um, and then they won't affect you as much during the day. And with time, as your body adjusts the medication, then you could take it in the morning or at night because you likely will no longer have any of those symptoms from taking the medication. Um, this medication can also cause sexual side effects, and I'd say that probably for about 50% of men or so that take this medication, it causes, it to, causes them to take longer to climax if they're engaged in sexual activity. And this medication is actually a treatment for premature ejaculation, and so that a lot of companies online, for example, will um, say, oh, we treat premature ejaculation, and if you read the fine print, they're actually just sending you Prozac or a similar medication uh, to treat that. Um, additionally, in terms of some uh, additional side effects, so these medications do carry a warning for increased risk for bleeding or bruising. So if a medication, if a patient is actually older and they're on this medication, I may recommend that um, I talk with their primary care provider and collaborate with them, throw in a blood thinner or have a, a vulnerability where they're likely to have a bleeding, bleeding problems, and I certainly will want to reach out to their primary care provider and discuss. Um, but for your average individual, this doesn't tend to be too much of a concern. And all SSRIs do have a warning for suicidality. And while um, untreated depression is gonna be your, your uh, leading cause of suicide, um, and by that I, I'm, I'm trying to say, and it's important to note that treating depression with medications like antidepressants saves lives and can really decrease someone's risk for suicide. There's a small percentage of the population that might have increased suicidal thinking with these medications. Um, and so if anyone has suicidal thoughts, it's just incredibly important to speak to a mental health professional immediately, get to an ER, call, a, you know, call 911, get to a crisis center, 
um, to make sure that, uh, that you're safe. If you believe that this video pertained to you in any way, please do not hesitate to reach out to a mental health professional directly. Um, this video is informative only. It's not to be used for anyone's um, personal medical advice.